Hi everyone, this is Candace Cubito for scriptofpale.com. This is part two of the Magic Iris die set video. These are the cards that I showed you in part one. The first ones were made by using the die set with no add-ons, and the flower card was made by using the scalloped add-on. But I'm here to show you how to make a card using another type of add-on. Here is the other add-on to the set. You can see that this one will make the whole front of the card, and the arm tab is a little bit different. But the mechanics of the magic iris remains the same. You're making the three rings, you're making the arm, the blades, the whirly gig um, on one of the rings, and you'll make the stabilizers as well. You won't use the arm tab, you'll use the one that comes with the add-on. Here is the card I'm making today. This says, I couldn't have wished on the front and for a better friend inside. And of course, that wonderful friend is flying high with the dandelion. This is such a cute card. I'm going to change this card up just a bit. On this one, my rings are white and they show, so I'm going to make all my rings blue. The directions for making the magic iris are in part one, so I'm going to speed up the making of the iris. If you have any questions, just refer back to part one of the video. It might be a little hard to open and close when it's not on the card itself, but here's the completed magic iris. Here's the panel cut out with the magic iris add-on. As before, it cuts out a circle, but I've added tape to the back because I want to color the sky in clouds and I want the circle's background to match. I have a cloud stencil and distressing salty ocean to darken the sky just a little and make some clouds. I'm turning the stencil each time to change the cloud pattern. And that's done. I've closed up the eye and I'm checking the cloud pattern on the panel and matching it up to the magic iris. I want to make sure that it will look the same closed or opened. I've cut out a hillside and some grass and colored them with two different colored inks. Also, I stamped I couldn't have wished at the bottom. I attached them to the bottom of the panel, put it back in the die, and cut it so that the stitching went all along the sides and the bottom.
Now I want to adhere the panel to the magic iris so the arm is at the cutout. I add tape to the iris and place the panel atop it lightly in case I have to take it off. The flat end of the tab needs to match the side of the panel. There. It opens and closes nicely, so I'm just going to cut this part off. I took it off the base once to readjust it. I open up the iris and you can see that the clouds match up pretty well. I want to put some foam tape on the back of the panel in places that won't interfere with the mechanics of the magic iris. And I need to add tape to the stabilizers before I attach the panel to the card base. There we go. That's looking good. Now comes the really fun part, decorating. I've got a couple of sets I'm using. The first one is from Lawn Fawn and is called Dandy Day. I'm in love with these little mice. They're just adorable. I have this thing about dandelions too. I loved them as a child. Don't want them on my lawn now, but my grandmother used to make dandelion salad with the greens and even dandelion wine. So I'm going to use this little guy here. Um, he's going to be blowing a dandelion. I'm going to use this little uh, mother and child, and maybe this guy right here is the father. I'm also using I Couldn't Have Wished down here, and inside I have For a Better Friend and a couple of dandelions. This set, Lawn Fawn's Really High Five, I'm using this little guy. He looks like he should be holding a balloon, but I'm having him hold something else. So here is this little guy. I'm going to place him in the middle. I want him flying, holding a dandelion. So I will cut the dandelion right by about here. And I will glue part of this to the outside of the panel and I will glue the remainder of it to the inside with him holding on to the bottom part of the stem. This little family is amused and a bit in awe. I'll tilt him back just a little. This little guy looks like he could be whistling but what he's doing is blowing a dandelion. I'm putting some clouds in the sky. I've got a couple of flowers. I've got a big one and that I'm going to put right here. And then I've got a little flower that I'm going to tuck behind. I have a dandelion that is flying by in the sky. I was trying to decide where to put that one. I have a sweet little butterfly that is flying, flittering around. And um, I'm putting some dots in to show the path of the butterfly. I have a little stamp for it, but I can just put the dots in. That's easy enough to do. The very last thing I'm doing is stamping the little seed heads flying away on their little umbrellas. And now I'm calling the card done. That's the third way of making a magic iris card. One of the best new die sets I've seen in a long time. I hope you have as much fun experimenting with your set as I've had with mine. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again, and bye for now.